peeping Tom is a frightening experience. It's also a thrilling one because it gets close, very close to the, to the heart of the impulse deep within filmmaking. I mean, to make films, to make images and stories from those images, other imagined worlds, really, it's exciting and intoxicating, which means that can get a grip on you, and unless you're very careful, it won't let you go. To capture someone's image on camera is a very powerful act. We've forgotten that now since we're so overrun with images here in the Western world. There's a reason why taking someone's photograph is still forbidden in, in some cultures. The belief is that you're stealing a piece of their soul, and to a certain extent, and I can, I can understand this, when someone agrees to appear on camera, whether it's in a fiction film or a documentary, we shouldn't forget that they're giving something very special of themselves. This is what Michael Powell captured in Peeping Tom. Powell dared what no one else had dared before him, to show us how close movie making could come to madness, how it could eat you up. He was telling an extremely uncomfortable truth, something that nobody really wanted to know, on, on top of which he was doing it in a spectacular lurid Eastman color, images that almost recall the covers of porno magazines. And he paid the price. I mean, Peeping Tom put an end to his career in England, and he had to go to Australia in order to find what little work he could later on. When I saw Peeping Tom, my first reaction was, could this have been the same man who made the red shoes, made this picture? Could that be? But then, of course, I realized that there was a very strong link between the two pictures, just as there's a, a sort of vital continuity running throughout all of Michael's pictures with, with and without my Emmerich Pressburger. Michael was always showing us how necessary art is and how far it can drive you in your passions. And he was also showing that it could consume you if you weren't careful. In a sense, a Peeping Tom was his last word on the matter. It's also one of his greatest films.